Have you ever been discouraged? You ever been down? You ever really was looking forward to something and man, you really was hoping it would come to pass and it didn't? And you're wondering, what in the world do I do now? I remember when I was in the military and I wanted to get promoted and um, man, my hopes were up and I didn't get promoted. I was extremely disappointed. How do you overcome disappointment? How do you overcome disappointment? That's what we're going to talk about this morning. Good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Man. I'm so thankful and grateful to be with you on this morning. And uh, just want to greet a couple of people on this morning. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Anitra. Good morning, Sean. Uh, good morning. It's great to see you all. Good morning, Sharon. It's a wonderful morning. And I have a word for you. You already know. Going to give you the text to talk and the takeaway in five minutes or less. And this morning, I want to talk about how do you overcome being discouraged? How do you overcome being discouraged? You know what? Maybe you put a little bit of that in the chat area. How do you overcome being discouraged? Before I share the three things that uh, I want to share with respect to that. Good morning, Angie. How are you doing on this morning? Good morning, Thelma. Good morning, Nafa. How are you guys doing on this morning? I want to get into this word on this morning this particular morning and in James 1 and 12 James 1 and 12 talks about how blessed is the man who is steadfast who is steadfast I'm gonna give you the text talk and the takeaway James 1 and 12 blessed is the man that is steadfast who keeps at it who doesn't give up three things I want to share with that particular scripture the first thing you have to grab a hold of is you gotta be persistent. You gotta be persistent. You cannot give up when discouraging things come your way. You have to be determined above everything else. James also said, when patience has had its perfect work, <laughs> you count everything joy when patience has had its perfect work. So there are times when you are going to be discouraged, trust me, you are, and you're gonna to have to be persistent. You can't give up. You gotta have, let patience have its perfect work. The second thing you gotta do is that you've got to pray. You gotta pray. Now there are instances all through scripture. Romans says you gotta be consistent in prayer when there is no more hope. Then there is the Canaanite woman who, you know the story. When she's asking Jesus to come see about her child, Jesus pushes her away and she says, even the dogs can get crumbs from the master's table. She absolutely refuses to give up. Then there's the story of the unjust ruler who says, you know what? The woman continues to pray no matter what. You have to be persistent. You have to pray. And here is the third thing to overcome discouragement. The third thing to overcome discouragement, you have to realize that you have the power of God on the inside of you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That when discouragement comes, it is the number one weapon of the enemy. If the enemy can ever get you to be disappointed, therefore discouraged, and want to throw in the towel, he'll win because you don't keep at it. If you keep at it, remember, he says, greater are you that is he, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are more than a conqueror, and God is always cheering for us and pressing us on. So all we have to do is stay in the game. The clock will not run out. <laughs> so what's your takeaway this morning? You remember, it's the text of talking the takeaway. Your takeaway is this. When discouragement comes your way, just keep this in mind. Don't give up, don't give in, don't give out. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Hey, you already know, don't keep the manna to yourself. Share the manna. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. See you then. Bye now.